Hi everybody and welcome. In this video we are going to continue talking about the skybox. In the last video I showed you how to make the corners and the sides of the skybox seamless. However, it's still really obvious where the corners and the sides are. This is because of the perspective of the cube faces. Let me demonstrate using this flat grid. As you can see, when using this flat grid as a cube map, it's really, really easy to see where the side and the top and the bottom faces are. But now imagine that we transform this flat grid into this warped grid. When I use this warped grid as a cube map, we can no longer distinguish each face and we appear to be surrounded by a sphere. This transformation from the flat grid to the warped grid is called a stereographic projection. I have used something called <laughs> mathematics to calculate the projection and I've generated this displacement map. For now we won't be needing any of this so-called <laughs> mathematics because I have already done all the necessary parts in creating the displacement map. But if you are interested there's a really interesting video by Stand Up Maths here. Also for those of you interested there's a link to the equations in the description. Anyway, moving on. Here I have a super quick panorama which I created. Nothing special, just some clouds, the sun and a high tower. Let's see what happens if I make the faces seamless, as per the technique I showed in the previous video. As you can see, the result is not very convincing. There are sharp corners in the sun and clouds, and the tower especially seems to be bent over. Let's look, uh, let's go back and apply the projection first. I'm going to copy this to the template file. You can download the template file from the link in the description. Next, I make sure that the panorama is of the right format. The panorama must be 5 cube faces wide and 2 cube faces high. In other words, the width to height ratio must be 5 to 2. In order to apply the transformation, I select a picture, I open the filter editor, and I click on the checkbox next to the cube map filter. This will only work in the template file uh, which I've opened. This filter I created myself. Let's see, let's have a look at it more closely. As you can see, the first thing that happens is an image is imported. The imported image is used as a displacement map. As you can see, the red in the underlying image displaces the graphic in the x direction and the green displaces the graphic in the y direction. The image is warped in a pretty funky way. Now, unfortunately, the displacement map doesn't play nicely with the masking function, so the next step is to make a bitmap copy. And it's with this bitmap copy that we will make the corners and the sides seamless, as I showed you how to do in the previous video. Now, moving back to Unity, let's see the result. Much better. The sides of the cube appear as a sphere. Now that the displacement map has caused some ugly artifacts, so you're probably going to want to touch this up in GIMP or Photoshop. Unfortunately, there's not too much I can do about it, this artifact, short of writing my own code, which I'd do if I ever had enough free time again. Also, bear in mind that this technique assumes that everything in the sky dome is reasonably far away, so if you include anything too close, it will end up looking unnaturally curved. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you liked this video and found it useful. If you did, why not help me out by giving me a thumbs up? Bye-bye. See you next time.